prepping for an interview with a large hedge fund, then these are the top five terms you need to know in corporate actions. And go for it for your interview. My very best wishes to you all. Let's take a look at these questions. The first one, what are the different types of corporate actions? So this question is normally asked so that they understand what is your analysis of the different types of corporate actions? So it always helps when you answer this question with some of the following points. For example, do mention that corporate actions are always initiated by the issuer. Okay, and that is a very powerful statement to make because it refers to the issuer investor relationship. Then you can go ahead and say that corporate actions are of three types, mandatory corporate actions, voluntary corporate actions, and the third one is the participation's entitlement. Okay, the participation, participation entitlement includes all your voting on different AGMs, AGMs, on different corporate matters, etc. So when you fortify your answer, you have to strengthen your answer with a little bit more than what you already can speak about. Second question, the kind of corporate actions on bonds or fixed income securities. Now, interviewers normally love this question. And you know why? Because everybody has a strong sense of equity instruments. But with regards to bonds and fixed income securities, not so much. And hence, you can fortify your answer by saying that bonds corporate actions include coupon payments, which can be semi-annually or quarterly coupon payments. The second one is bond redemptions on maturity date. And these are examples of mandatory corporate actions for bonds. So now you're linking both the interview questions, right? You're saying mandatory corporate actions in the first one. And when it comes to bonds, you can actually give an example of a mandatory corporate action, such as coupon payments and bond redemptions. Again, strengthen your answer, analyze your answer. There are also call options for early redemption. There's a put option available for early redemption. And these are examples of voluntary corporate actions on bonds. So normally, most of us have learned about mandatory corporate actions versus voluntary corporate actions. Here we're giving examples of bonds, mandatory corporate action and bonds, voluntary corporate actions. Remember, interviewer is also looking to understand how much you are able to relate the content to the real world. Third question, what is a stock split of shares? Many people often confuse this question with understanding that the stock split refers to the number of shares has doubled. But you must bring about the accounting jargon over here. That is the par value has reduced. Now, if you don't mention this point in your interview, then the interviewer will understand that you are not having a comprehensive analysis. So stock split is when the par value or the face value is reduced. This is mandatory part of your answer. The investors holding of the number of shares therefore increases because the par value is reduced. The number of shares that the investor is holding has increased. The price therefore corrects itself in the markets. And when the price corrects itself in the markets, the dollar value of the investors holding is unchanged. What is the next question? What is the reverse merger of companies? This is the first, fourth question. Many people often talk about mergers and acquisitions. They know about demergers. Now let's understand what is a reverse merger of companies. And we have many, many, many examples in Indian corporate history to talk about reverse merger of companies. So it's very important that you mention these three points. When an unlisted company acquires a listed company and the merged company shares are now listed on the stock market, it is called as a reverse merger. So it's not a large company versus a small company. Do not make that mistake. It is an unlisted company which buys a listed company. And that is called as a reverse merger. So the unlisted company stock also gets listed on the stock market. So this is how you have to explain the concept of a reverse merger. And you can, of course, give examples of ICICI Bank and Kingfisher Aviation, etc. Fifth question, non-financial corporate actions. Till now, we spoke about all financial corporate actions where the investor was entitled to so many benefits, bonds, redemption, uh, amounts, etc., so what are non-financial corporate actions in which investor action is needed? Let's take a look at some of them. Include these three points. Non-monetary entitlement to the investors. But this is a 
participation in the decision making of the company and therefore there is also a item of proxy voting so most investors will participate in decision making of the company with respect to key decisions like dividend declaration other corporate actions raising fresh capital from the markets etc so all these need a participation from the investors but these are not monetary in nature they could become monetary in nature but as of the date of voting it's not monetary yes okay so therefore let's take a look at some of the questions okay a rights entitlement is mandatory corporation uh, sorry is mandatory corporate action b in stock split market capitalization doesn't change c bond conversion is corporate action d d merger is not corporate action which one of this is applicable okay so we have got four options over here a rights entitlement is mandatory corporate action b in stock split market capitalization doesn't change and so on is a and b correct is b and c correct or is a and d correct okay so select your answers and the first one to get the right answer in the comment section box below i'm hoping i can at least now start sending out gifts now that my channel has got little money at least thank you so much for watching uh if you like the content subscribe and share with your friends